Hey guys, how you doing? Um, if anyone's been following my videos, I'm kind of down on my luck right now as far as reefing goes. I had to break down the Flirty Breeder. Um, I had to move. So I've been moving a lot, actually, unfortunately. So I'm just running this 14 gallon BioCube right now. Um, it's all Zoas. I have one chalice that's hanging in there, but. Um, yeah, I got rid of all my SPS, most of my fish. I still have the tank. It's not set up, but I kept it for future use. Um, hopefully I'll have that set up in about six months. I'm finishing my last semester of college uh, this September. So that's the plan with that. Um, for right now, this has been holding me over. Um, just wanted to walk you guys through it a little bit. This is the same BioCube that I had as my very first tank about four or five years ago. Back then it was set up as a as a real tank. Um, so you can see I got a nice, pretty decent Zoa collection building. There's a few nice ones in there like hallucinations. Um, I have the AC Krakens. I have some flaming Mohicans. Uh, Paradise Zoas. Um, what else? I have a stratosphere coming in September. Can't wait to get that. Uh, you know, there's a few common ones like Rastas, Supernovas, uh, Darth Mauls, uh, Scarface, Emeralds on Fire, um, what else? Jokers, Sunny D's, you know, you get the idea. I don't, I try not to get anything without without a name. I know some people hate that, but I'm, I'm kind of into it, you know. If, if I like it, you know, if it has a name and I like it, I'll buy it. If it's just a name and I don't like it, I'm not going to buy it. But, um, I do, I kind of enjoy the naming thing. It makes it like collecting stuff, you know? It's like big boy Pokemon. But, uh, besides that, I have this little basket I made for anemones. I have two bubble tips in there. They're very bleached. I got them for free. Um, well, not free, but practically free. I got them for like... 10 bucks total, five bucks each. Um, trying to nurse them back to health. We'll see what happens. I've never kept an enemy before, I'll be honest with you guys, because I was SPS dominant. So, you know, I had had no reason to. But, um, yeah, I mean, everything is doing well. The lighting's custom, it's a, a Steve's LED lid with uh let's see if you can see them i think it's six royal blue one cyan six cool white and one uh green so it's not not exactly full spectrum but pretty close and it gets the job done for zoas uh as far as the tank goes i have an mp10 for flow plus the return um i got the basket right there take you back to the filtration first chamber I have uh, my heater and I think that's my calcium line because I did have SPS in here for a little bit right here is a media basket um, I have a filter floss on top followed by purigen and then chemi pure on the bottom then here I have my auto top off um, and also my alkalinity and then that's pretty much it. This rack I built myself works out pretty well. I wish I would have had like a middle layer though, because um, it's hard to put things in low light and high light. There's no really medium section. But uh, you know everything's doing pretty well. I plan on having this for maybe six months or so more before I get a what I call a real tank. Um, fish wise, I kept a few things I couldn't part with. That's my fire shrimp. I actually bought these pepper and shrimp just for aptasia control in case I get it. Um, that's my starry blenny. Couldn't pass with him. And then I have a stippled clingfish, which many of you might not have even heard of because I didn't until I got one. 
They're really cool. They look like a Pleco, but um, saltwater, obviously. So he's pretty cool. I don't know where he's at, but I kept him also. So let me just run you through some of the Zoas. Um, what do we got? They're not all open. Those are magicians. They're just not open. Not sure what they are. They're green with pink dots. Unfortunately, a lot of things aren't open right now. But uh, those are the flaming Mohicans right there in the middle that are partially open. Those are that's a poinsettia. ARC poinsettia. These ones are cool when they're open. They're uh, cherry red in the center with a completely white rim. It's kind of rare. Uh, these are my Krakens, AC Krakens. That's a five pile mother colony. It's a frag I just made. I'll probably sell that on Reef to Reef. You can find me uh, Class Clown 90. That's my name on there. Those are pink cracks from Worldwide Coral. They don't have a name right there. We got some Rastas. Got the uh, Jokers right there. Some Yodas. Um, what are these things called? I forget what they're called, but oh, Bam Bams, Orange Bam Bams. All the Hornet types are in here. You got your Red Hornets, Blue Hornets, Purple Hornet. Um, I don't have a Black Hornet, but Supernovas are pretty cool when they're nice and open. It's my Sunny D's. Again, not open. There's a Peppermint Shrimp. Uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I mean, hopefully you guys can, you know, like this, subscribe, and I'll keep you updated on it. I'll also keep you updated with anything else I get into. Um, like I said, I'll have a another tank up in about six months. I plan on getting my own place, finally. Um, and it should be a nice one. I'm hoping to do at least a 120 SPS and ZOA dominant, um, you know, full nine yards. I'm going to have, I'll probably throw some Radions on it. I've always been into the Chinese LEDs, but, you know, I'd like to, I'd like to go big, um, get a nice skimmer, probably, probably a bubble Magus is my favorite. That's what I had on my 40 breeder. And I might just set up the 40 breeder as a frag tank because it's a really nice, tank you know it's drilled it's got a built-in overflow that I built um, it's got a herbie system that someone did for me uh, you know the sump is it's nice and large it's just a good setup the stand is custom made from someone so you know I'd hate for that to go to waste and I really don't want to sell it so I'll either make it a frag tank or like a secondary tank I'm not sure yet um, I definitely need to set up a frag tank because I love coral and I'm a big collector so I'll probably either use the 40 as a frag tank or um, buy the uh, the deep blue 24 by 24 frag tank those are pretty cool and I'll throw a, throw probably a Chinese LED over that maybe some T5 to switch it up I don't know I'm a big LED guy so I'm trying to stay away from the T5s but it'd be cool to have you know one on each tank but anyway, uh, this is it. Keep you updated on growth and you know what goes on. I'm getting pretty good growth in here. If you have any questions, comment. Uh, please like and subscribe. You know, I promise I'll have more videos for you guys. Once these all open up, I'll take another one of just as always, so you can see them all. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.